Hey folks, Blaine with Seven Sons. Today I'm sharing with you several tips when it comes to buying meat in bulk. Buying freezer meat is a great way to purchase quality protein, support a local farm, save a lot of money in the process, maybe even involve some friends. But folks, it can get confusing when it comes to comparing prices, thinking through meal planning, freezer storage, how long the product will last in your freezer. I'm going to cover all those questions right here, right now. Okay, pricing can be kind of confusing when you're trying to compare uh, from one source to the next because some farms will sell by the hanging weight and some by the boneless weight. At Seven Sons, we sell all of our meat bundles by the boneless weight, and there's several reasons why. Uh, but first of all, uh, when it comes to buying by the hanging weight, if you're looking at hanging weight price per pound, keep in mind that when you buy by the hanging weight, you're actually buying the entire uh, carcass from the animal as it hangs on the rail before it's been processed. Typically after processing, you only yield 60 to 70% of what you originally pay for. And sometimes when you're buying by the hanging weight, there's an extra processing fee involved. So you wanna ask when you're looking at comparing prices per pound, is there an extra processing fee involved? And are you buying by the boneless weight or the hanging weight? Um, and generally, if you're buying by the hanging weight, you have to call the processor that the farmer uses to tell the processor and instruct them on how you want your order processed. And if you've never done that before, that can be pretty overwhelming. You'll want to make sure you get some advice either from the processor or the farmer or maybe a friend that may have done it before uh, because you can make some mistakes in that process. Now, that may sound confusing to buy freezer meat by the hanging weight, and, and it really is. And so that's why at Seven Sons, we sell all of our freezer meat in prepackaged, already processed bundles so that you always know what your yield is going to be, what your final price will be. Um, and plus, you don't have to wait very long on an order. When you're buying by the hanging weight, you have to wait until the processor has a processing appointment, until the farmer has the animal ready. A lot of times you have to put in a, a down payment beforehand. Uh, when you're purchasing from Seven Sons, every, all the speculation is taken out of it. And uh, as most of you know, we have over 40 pickup locations uh, where it's convenient to pick up your order. A lot of times if you have to pick up at the processor, when you're buying by the hanging weight, you, sometimes you have to travel uh, even up to a couple hours uh, to the processing location. So that's something else you'll want to ask if you're buying by the hanging weight is where you have to pick up that order. Um, and we also offer some home deliver delivery options and shipping as well. So we try to make it as convenient as possible and as straightforward when it comes to comparing prices. So again, always make sure you're comparing apples to apples and look at the difference between uh, the boneless weight price and the hanging weight price and ask if there's an extra processing fee involved. Okay, so once you decide where you're going to purchase your meat from, the next question is, well, how much do you order? And that depends on, well, how many people are you trying to feed? How large is your family? But it's a very critical question because you don't want to invest in a high quality meat product just to have it go bad in the freezer because you couldn't use it in time. We find that you're safe to store product in the freezer uh, and maintain quality up to a year, sometimes a little more. Um, so just keep that in mind. You'll want to think through your meal planning. Keep in mind that the average consumer uh, eats about 193 pounds of protein per year, uh, meat products per year. And so you boil that down to a per week basis. That's a little over three and a half pounds per person. So just think through how many people you have in your family. You can kind of gauge how long an order is going to last. Uh, we have consumption charts uh, on each bundle page that show you typically how long each bundle will last, a family of different sizes, so that's really easy to compare. Now keep in mind, generally the more you buy, the more you save. So that's why we recommend um, or suggest that you consider going in with friends, families, or neighbors, involve some other people in the process of buying directly from the farm and kind of introduce maybe pasture-raised foods to them um, in a way that uh, brings them quality food and, and a savings at the same time. Um, and so it's a great way to leverage buying power. And keep in mind, since our bundles are pre-packaged, um, it's really easy to share an order. For example, if you get a half a beef, it comes in four uniform boxes. So if four people go in on that, you just split the boxes up four ways. Uh, no need to open the boxes and try to divvy out an odd amount of cuts. Makes it real easy uh, to buy in bulk with friends and save. Okay, and one final consideration to think about is planning your freezer space, obviously. We find that uh, a one cubic foot of freezer space will easily accommodate 35 to 40 pounds of product as a general rule of thumb. This is a 17 cubic foot upright freezer here. Unloaded here is a uh, eighth of a beef, 45 pounds. You can see it fits nicely just on one shelf. 
something to keep in mind uh, when you're thinking about the uh, the best freezer for putting your freezer meat in um, the upright freezers work really well to keep the product accessible but it does expose the product to warmer air so that's just something to keep in mind you'll want to avoid putting any product in the door as it weighs it down and can keep it from closing properly and of course if it's in the door uh, it exposes the meat to uh, warmer temperatures so we always recommend keeping the product on the shelves and ideally a chest freezer uh, would probably be the best option but a upright freezer works as well all right folks that's just some tips uh, that we wanted to share with you we hope it helps as you try to make the best decision and kind of plan uh, what is best for your family when it comes to purchasing freezer meat